Hello everyone, welcome to Geeta's classes. Uh, now we are going to see uh, discuss the continuous distribution of fundamental importance, namely the normal distribution, which is one of the most important and popular distribution. Any quantity whose variation depends on random causes is distributed according to the normal law. Its importance lies in the fact that a large number of distributions approximate to the normal distribution and as such it is a cornerstone of the modern statistics. It is another limiting form of the binomial distribution for large values of n when neither p nor q is very small. Now let us see the definition of a normal distribution. A random variable x is said to have a normal distribution if its density function is given by function because it is continuous always we refer it to as f, uh, f of x with mu and sigma as parameters. These are called parameters. I will explain 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi. This part you have to remember. Okay, 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi e power minus x minus mu the whole squared by 2 sigma squared where x varies from minus infinity to plus infinity and mu also takes the values from minus infinity to plus infinity and sigma in is greater than 0. It is a positive value. Here mu is called the mean and sigma is called the standard deviation and they are called the parameters of the normal distribution because they decide the nature of the curve. Okay. Also, mean is called, mu is also called location parameter and sigma is called spread parameter. I will explain why. See, if you have this, this always, it is in the middle. Mu is in the middle. Okay. And uh, please remember for normal distribution, the entire area, that is area between the curve and this line is always 1. Total probability or total area is 1. They represent the probability okay and this mu this line x is equal to mu divides the entire region into two equal parts so this side 0.5 this side is 0.5 total area is 1 okay this is the normal curve suppose if uh, mu is equal to 0 this is in the center at the origin suppose if i move this if mu is equal to right hand side 2 or 3 then it will be, the curve will be moved like this. Here this is the center and this much portion it is moved to the right. Okay. Or if it is uh, less than this, if mu is negative side this value, then it will be moved to the left hand side. Okay. So therefore it is location. It decides the location. According to mu value, it will be moved to the right or left of the uh, center line. Okay. Therefore, it is called the location parameter. And what about sigma? Sigma is the deviation from the mean, right? Standard deviation from how much it is deviating from the mean, okay? This is uh, normal mu and sigma, right? Sigma is this much, okay? How much is deviation? Now, if mu is less, yeah, sorry, uh, if sigma is less, mu is the mean if sigma deviation standard deviation is less then it will be more peak the curve will be more peak because this deviation will be less therefore it will be more peak if sigma is more if the deviation is more then the curve will become flattened or spread it will spread more okay or flattened this is this for this sigma is more and for this sigma is less okay so therefore sigma is called the spread parameter and mean is called the location parameter that divide that decides the location and sigma divide, decides the uh, shape of the curve okay now let us derive the mean and variance of this distribution it is a continuous distribution so mean now what is f of x with the mu and sigma as parameters is 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi. This you have to remember. Integral minus infinity to plus infinity. <coughs> Sorry. 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi e power minus x minus mu by 
the whole square by 2 sigma square. This is the um, <coughs> function. f of x is the pdf of the given normal distribution. Now I am going to find out the mean e of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x dx. Right? Now 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi they are constants so I am taking it outside. Integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x. So in the place of this e power minus uh, 1 by 2 into x minus mu by sigma the whole square into dx. Okay. So this is equal to now what I am going to do is put x minus mu by sigma is equal to another variable z. For my convenience to integrate this I am just replacing this uh, changing from x to z. So dx is equal to sigma into dz. When x is minus infinity, z is also minus infinity. When x is plus infinity, z is also plus infinity. Therefore, 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity. I am changing x to z. So, x minus mu by sigma is equal to z. This implies x is equal to sigma z plus mu, right? So, in the place of x, sigma z plus mu into e power minus 1 by 2 into what about this z squared so z squared into dz uh, dx is equal to sigma into dz so this sigma and sigma will get cancelled so i am getting 1 by root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity sigma z plus mu into e power minus z squared by 2 into dz right now I am going to split this into two uh, separate integrals. Okay, So mean e of x is equal to 1 by root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity. I have sigma z into e power z squared by 2 mu into sigma square e power z squared by 2. So sigma z into e power minus z squared by 2 dz plus 1 by root of 2 pi integral minus infinity plus infinity mu into e power minus z squared by 2 dz. Right? Now, uh, observe this integral. This is called odd integral. This is odd function and this is even function. Right? So, what do you mean by odd function and even function? Odd means what? f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. If you can write like this, then it will be odd function. If it is odd function, then you have a property integral of integral minus infinity to uh, minus a to plus a, f of x dx will be equal to 0. If it is even function, when will you say that it is even function? f of minus x is f of x, then it is said to be even function. In that case, minus a to plus a, f of x dx can be written as 2 into integral minus, uh, sorry, integral 0 to a, f of x dx. Right? So, these are the facts. These are the properties of integrals. If it is odd function, then if you replace x by minus x, you should be able to write minus f of x. Then it is odd. If it is odd, then if the integrand is odd, then this integral will become 0. Or if it is even function, then you can write twice. Okay. So, in the first integral, you have z into e power minus z squared by 2. e power minus z squared by 2 is an even function. z is an odd function. Therefore, odd into even will become odd function. So, the first integral is odd function. Therefore, it will become 0. And what about the second function 1 by root of 2 pi mu is independent of z so I am taking it outside integral minus infinity ah, this can be written as because it is even function I am going to write it as 2 into integral 0 to infinity e power minus z squared by 2 into dz okay. Therefore 2 into mu divided by root of 2 pi into this uh, integral is a standard integral whose value will become 
root pi by root 2. This already we have evaluated in beta gamma functions in M2, M1. Okay. So, this root pi and root pi will get cancelled. Root 2 and root 2 will become 2. Therefore, it gets cancelled. Therefore, it is equal to mu. Therefore, mean of the normal distribution is mu. Okay. Now, let us derive variance. Variance is equal to by definition e of x minus mu the whole squared, right? That is equal to uh, integral 0 minus infinity to plus infinity by definition minus infinity to plus infinity x minus whatever is here we will write here. So, x minus mu the whole squared into f of x dx, right? Therefore, this is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi that I am going to take it outside for my convenience. So, this is equal because they are constants I can take it outside. So, x minus mu the whole square. What is f of x? e power minus 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi that I have written outside. e power 1 by 2 into x minus mu divided by sigma the whole square into dx. Okay. So, this is equal to now again put the same thing x minus mu by sigma is equal to z. What we have done for mean the same thing I am doing, doing here dx is equal to sigma into dz. Okay. Limit uh, are the limits are the same. So, 1 by sigma into root of 2 pi into integral minus infinity to plus infinity. What is x minus mu? Sigma. So, sigma into z the whole square e power minus z square by 2 into dx is what? Sigma into dz. So, sigma sigma will get cancelled. This is equal to variance is 1 by sigma squared. Here you have sigma squared. This will become sigma squared into z squared. Right? Here the sigma z the whole squared is sigma uh, squared into z squared. This sigma squared I am going to take it outside. So, variance becomes sigma squared divided by root of 2 pi into integral minus infinity to plus infinity. What is that? z squared into e power minus z squared by 2 into dz, right? Now, this is an even function. This is also even function. So, I can write it as 2 sigma squared by root of 2 pi into integral 0 to infinity because even function means integral 2 into integral 0 to infinity I can write z squared into e power minus z squared by 2 into dz. Now again to make the integration easier I am going to substitute z squared by 2 as t. So z squared is 2t. So 2z dz is 2 into dt. 2 2 will get cancelled. So, dz is equal to dt by z. What is that dt by root of 2t? z squared is 2t. So, z is equal to root of 2t. Now, substitute everything as the limits are same. As t is equal to 0, z is equal to 0, t is also 0. As z is infinity, t is also infinity. So, 2 sigma squared by root of 2 pi into integral 0 to infinity. z squared is what? 2t right into e power minus z squared by 2 is t so e power minus t what is dz dt by root of 2t right so this 2 and this root 2 and root 2 will get cancelled right therefore 2 sigma squared by root of pi integral 0 to infinity uh, t power 1 by 2 into e power minus t into dt. Right? Or root t. t power 1 by 2 is root t. That is therefore variance is equal to 2 into sigma square by root of pi integral 0 to infinity e power minus t into I have t power 1 by 2 no 
I can write it as t power 3 by 2 minus 1. 3 by 2 is minus 1 is nothing but 1 by 2. Okay. This, now I am going to use this gamma function. So, 2 sigma squared into, what is this definition? Gamma of 3 by 2. Okay. This we have studied in M1. Uh, integral 0 to infinity e power minus t t power n minus 1 dt is gamma of n. Okay. So, this is gamma of 3 by 2. That is 2 sigma squared by root of pi into gamma of 3 by 2 can be written as 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. So, this 2, 2 will get cancelled. And the sigma squared by root pi into what is gamma of 1 by 2 value? This also we have proved to be root pi. So, root pi, root pi will get cancelled. Answer is sigma squared. Therefore, mean of the uh, normal distribution is mu and variance of the normal distribution is sigma squared. This proof is also important. Please go through and we will do some problems in the next live class. Thank you so much.